Hey guys, welcome back to the Alcohol Free RV. As I mentioned last week, we have a little bit of information for you about gross vehicle weight rating, gross axle weight ratings, combined weight ratings, CGRWs, all those acronyms that can be kind of confusing the first time you are looking at them. Um, so we're gonna actually get our truck weighed, we're gonna get our truck and trailer combination weighed, and we'll do the math to see if we are, in fact, road legal. All right, we are gonna start at our truck. So the truck we ordered is a F-350 Platinum. We've talked about these numbers just a little bit elsewhere on the interwebs, uh, but I haven't done an actual video here on this channel, so let's get to it. So there's always a sticker on your vehicle that tells you about the gross axle weight ratings and gross vehicle weight ratings for your particular vehicle. Now, Ford might advertise that an F-350 has a max payload rating of over 7,000 pounds, but what that means is that there is some configuration that meets that number. So that best-in-class tow rating may not be what your actual ratings are. With something like a Platinum, you've got a lot of weight in the ceiling because there is the full moon roof. And I don't know if I can, yeah, I don't have the keys on me. Yeah, um, that moon roof probably weighs 150 pounds. And so that detracts from your overall payload capacity. So what do we need to do to find the payload capacity? Well, we can take a look at these numbers. So on this little uh, sticker here, it gives you the front gross axle weight rating, G-A-W-R, and also the rear gross axle weight rating. Um, each of those tells you how much weight you can have re resting on that particular axle. But those numbers typically add up to more than the gross vehicle weight rating. So our front axle weight rating is 5,600 pounds and our rear is 7,230. So that adds up to 12,830 pounds. And our total gross vehicle weight rating right here is uh, 11,500 pounds. So I might be able to have a lot of weight on the back and less weight in the front. So that's one thing that you do have to be careful about because it's not just about the axles and springs. There's other components that are required in order to gain a higher weight rating. For the F-350, uh, I just did a little bit of research. Uh, an F-350 dually versus single rear wheel, yes, there's the obvious differences in the springs and the uh, actual axle housings and the internals of the axle, but also the braking system is different between the dually and the single rear wheel. So that is another component that, you know, that's why you can't just put more wheels on the back. All of this stuff has to work together as a system in order to be able to reach that higher weight rating. So our target number here is to not have any more weight than 11,500 pounds total on the ground. So that's the truck, that's me and the kid and my wife and the weight of the hitch and the weight of the trailer sitting on that hitch. The other thing that you have to be aware of is your trailer also has a gross vehicle weight rating, GVWR. And our trailer is 16,470 pounds. So with all of our stuff, you know, all the enhancements that we've done, everything that sits between the wheels and the, the kingpin here is needing to be under that 16,000 pounds. And well, 16,470 pounds. Our trailer has axles that are rated to 7,000 pounds a piece. So we can have a maximum of 14,000 pounds resting on the, the ground. 
And then the rest of that weight would have to go into the payload calculation in the truck. So we have upgraded the tires to a higher weight rating, but that doesn't mean I can carry more because my axles are still only rated to 7,000 pounds. I got the upgraded tires so that I felt like there was more of a, um, more capacity. These are higher speed rated as well. And so they should run cooler at the speeds that I drive. They're rated to 87,000 or wow, 87,000 miles an hour. No, 87 miles an hour. And so when we're traveling at 65, we're not at that limit of those tires. So that was why I chose to do that upgrade. And so uh, they've been working out for us. But overall, all of these weights have to be calculated. And if you have too much weight on the front, and not enough weight on the back, that's going to increase your payload into your truck. And likewise, if you start moving things back, you know, you take a bunch of stuff out of the back and you put it in the back bedroom. Uh, sorry, if you, if you take a bunch of stuff out of the underbelly and put it in the back bedroom for travel, that's going to have that lever effect. And hopefully you can see the, uh, the shadow here. Uh, the, the front end is going to pick up and the back end is going to come down. So that's going to transfer weight onto the axles and off of the kingpin at some ratio. It's not going to necessarily be one to one, but you know, you can use that kind of concept to balance things. So let's go take a drive down to the cat scale and we'll show you, um, show you the app, show you how to get weighed and then we'll see what, if anything, we need to do. I love this Pilot mobile app because it allows us to fuel up with both diesel and DEF while we are uh, at these Pilot Flying J truck stops. And we don't have to go inside to make the payment first and then come back out and then go back. And it stores all your receipt and everything. So essentially, uh, you do have a wallet that you can use inside the app and it contains you know your credit cards and whatever and when you authenticate if it will let me my thumbprint isn't working then you just select that you're going to the truck lanes if you're getting uh, gasoline you can use the RV or auto lanes then you select the card that you want to use And my goodness, prices are fun right now. So we'll get diesel number two and death. Well, let's check how much death we have. We are essentially full. So I'm not gonna get death today. And reefer is the fuel that goes in the refrigerated trailers. You can't use that because that is taxed differently, so you're always going to be looking for that diesel number two. Then you can put in your zip code and your unit number. They don't need an actual trucking company or anything. So you click continue. And it gives you a code. Do you type into the pump? All right, now that we're fueled up, we will go ahead and do a little U-turn here so we can get over on that cat scale, see where we're at. Again, I like the apps for this because, again, don't have to get out of the truck. So you just have your truck in there. The way fee is currently $13. That went up at the beginning of June. And we're done. So as you can see, the process of, you know, fueling up with the app and weighing your truck with the app is really simple. And so I highly recommend taking a look into the, both of these apps. You know, if you use Pilot, that's great. Um, we just use it because it, it 
does have the app. Um, I don't know about Loves or any of the other truck stops, but you might be able to find apps for those as well. I am also going to put a link in the description down below to the spreadsheet that I'm using. Um, basically, it's going to do all the calculations for you to let you know whether or not your vehicle is within all the appropriate weight limits for both the truck, the trailer, the axles, payload, the whole thing. So uh, it does require a couple of weighings. So the first way you would do just your truck and then, uh, you know, fully loaded like you were going on a trip and then again, hooked up with the trailer. If you do weigh at a cat scale, you can actually do a weigh and that costs the normal $13, which is the new price as of June 2022. And you can do a reweigh the same day. I think it's actually within 24 hours where you can just uh, weigh your your other setup. So go to, go to your uh, go to weigh with your truck, pay 13 bucks, and then go back within 24 hours, and it's a much discounted price because you're gonna be able to see. You know, you're trying to figure out are all your capacities good. So I do recommend doing that all within the scope of 24 hours so that you can save some money. Thanks for watching everybody. My name's Todd. This is the Alcohol Free RV where we do mods, repairs, and upgrades along the way. We'll see you next time.